This is Richard. Richard is a shepherd and takes care of a lot of sheep. One of his sheep is called Claire. Claire is a nosy sheep. One day Richard is looking for his sheep and just like every morning, goes out to bring them fresh water. But today something seems wrong. Claire is missing. Richard looks for her everywhere. The other sheep also have no idea where she went. Richard decides to leave the other sheep alone and starts to search for Claire. He asks everyone on the street if they have seen Claire. Hmm. Some people have seen her and decide to help Richard. After a long time searching, Richard finally finds Claire. Richard is so happy to have Claire back that he takes her on his shoulders and carries her the long way back home. Jesus told this story to show his listeners how happy God is about someone who turns back to follow him. He even leaves behind the many sheep that are not lost just to search for the one which was lost and to bring it back home. This is Susan. Susan works as a cleaner and does not make a lot of money. She has been saving the little money she owns and has already collected 10 silver coins. At that time, one silver coin was worth around $50. One day, Susan is looking for her coins and discovers that one of them is missing. She takes apart her whole flat to search for this one missing coin. When she finally finds it, she is overjoyed. She calls to her friends to tell them how happy she is to have found this <laughs> lost coin. Yeah. Jesus told this story to show his listeners how happy God is when someone who didn't know him before decides to follow him. This is Stan. Stan has two sons, Peter and Klaus. Klaus, the younger of his sons, comes to Stan one day. He asks his father to give him his part of the inheritance early. Stan gives him the money and Klaus packs his stuff to leave for another country. Early on, Klaus thinks his life is going pretty well. He uses his inheritance to buy a big house and an expensive car. Every night he goes to parties and celebrates till dawn. After living this way for a while, he runs out of his money and loses everything. As if that was not bad enough, it gets even worse. The country where he was living is hit by a famine and he can't afford to buy food anymore. In his distress, he gets a job taking care of pigs. And even though he is hungry, he is not allowed to eat the pigs' food. Sitting amongst the pigs, he remembers, At my father's house, everything was good. Even his employees had a good life. Maybe. Maybe he will let me work for him if I go back and ask him. So, Klaus decides to make the long way back to his father. When Klaus returns home, Stan runs out to joyfully hug his son. Klaus apologizes for running away and spending all of his inheritance. He asks if he can work for Stan, not as his son, but as one of his employees. Stan doesn't even consider Klaus's proposal. Instead, he is organizing a huge party for him and takes him back as his son. Stan's other son, Peter, sees all of this and gets angry with his father. You never gave me a party, and I have been working for you this whole time. Stan explains to him, Peter, everything that is mine is also yours. You can have a party whenever you want. Klaus was dead, and he is now living again. Isn't that a reason to celebrate? Jesus told this story to show his listeners that God is incredibly happy 
when someone turns away from sin and returns to Him.